All right, this is Matt's very first music festival. He flew in today from Monterey. Special trip for the block party. We're doing a couple of shots now. Let me get in here. Cheers. All right, cheers, dude. To the first block party. What's up guys, that video was from last weekend on Saturday. My cousin was visiting. He had never been to a music festival. So I figured what better introduction to a music festival than to show him the This 916 block party on the streets of Midtown. If you never heard of this, it's basically a block party in Midtown near Lowbrow. They fly in DJs from around the country. They have live DJ sets in front of thousands of people on the streets right in the middle of Midtown. Well, recently it's gotten so large that they had to announce a location change this week. It will now be at Cesar Chavez Plaza. And I kind of want to talk about why they're moving there, the concerns some people have, and the future of this 916. I knew right when the location change announcement was made that people would either love or hate the idea. I have to admit, it's pretty cool having a music festival on the streets of Midtown with thousands of people and live DJ sets from some of the top DJs in the country but the event simply grew too big recently and the city forced them to change the locations. Some of the common concerns I see on their Instagram announcement is that people are number one concerned about safety. They think that having it downtown at Cesar Chavez Plaza is not as safe as in Midtown. My response to them is whether you're in Midtown or downtown, you always have to stay in control, don't get too drunk, never be out late night by yourself and always travel in groups. I've been to plenty of events at Cesar Chavez Plaza and have never had any problems myself. Also, people are in general worried about the homeless that live in that park right now. My response to them is that this is nothing new. Concerts in the park throws live music events here every Friday for three months straight during the typical summer. And this park is always used for festivals in general. So. This is definitely not the first event to take place here. What I myself love about the location change is that Cesar Chavez is huge and this gives the event plenty of room to grow. And growing only means that we could draw larger and larger DJs to Sacramento. I don't know if anyone watching this has ever been to TBD Fest. This was back in like 2014 or 2015. Somewhere around then, I'll throw up a video clip now. But that was the closest thing I've seen to EDC in Sacramento and introduced me to some of my favorite DJs to date, including Porter Robinson and the Glitch Mob. So if we could get this 916 to the level of what TBD was several years back, I'd be a really happy guy. Overall, I think this is a really good move for the This 916 block parties, the practical music festivals at this point. It gives them room to grow and it helps them draw the top DJ talent in the country and even the world. So I'm excited to see what the rest of the parties bring for the rest of the summer. First and third Saturdays each month through October. The next one is this Saturday on the 21st. I hope to see you there. I encourage you to check it out and I'll be there myself. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram. I might try to do a VIP ticket giveaway soon, assuming they want to do a collab with me. And please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sacramento lifestyle content in general, along with photography and filmmaking tips. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video and I'm out.